time to do some stuff today. Good morning. That was our last night in the camper. <laughs> oh, that's sad when you said it like that. <laughs> I mean, it's sad. I think it would be less sad if we were going to our house, but we're going to an Airbnb because we have to sell the camper. Like we listed it for sale and then it sold way faster than we anticipated. And so, yeah, we're going to go stay in an Airbnb until we close our house. So how long does that make it that we're going to be the Airbnb? 28 days. 28, yeah. We spend my birthday there. Um, but we found a really good price on one and it's like closer to our friends because we're literally way over here in like West Columbia. So it's like way closer to all of our friends. We're like 35 minutes away from everybody. And over there will be like five minutes. And we're like so far away from literally everything. Yeah. Like everything over here. It's honestly a little depressing. So what's on the agenda for today? Well, we're going to finish packing. Okay. And I may call U-Haul see if there's a trailer available. For what? To move everything out of here. Oh, okay. Just in one trip. Oh. There's not that many boxes left. Well, then we're talking the mattress, and then we're talking the kids' furniture. Uh, oh, the cabinets. yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that would make sense. So. So you're going to call them this morning and see? Yeah. Okay. Enjoy your last morning coffee in the camper. Doesn't even feel real. unit we're gonna drop off stuff that we will not need in the Airbnb and then we're gonna come back and get the stuff for the Airbnb and then we're gonna take it to the Airbnb and then we're gonna be moved out so this is all of our stuff that's going to storage we're gonna be literally like the only people that move into a 4,000 square foot house with a little pull behind trailer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that means we have lots of room to grow yeah, I have been looking at like appliances and stuff today, so that's got me really excited. Oh, cool. We'll put all this in your storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is day three of us cleaning up, packing up the camper, and transport is coming tonight to pick up the camper and bring Caroline to her new owner in Texas. We are basically just working on cleaning right now. Dub is working on the main bathroom. The master bedroom is all packed up. It looks so sad, all packed up. And we have completely finished packing up the kids' room, so. It's so sad. Let me turn on the lights so you can see. So we have everything all emptied out. It's literally so empty right now. It's so sad. I'm really excited for this new family's adventures in Caroline. They are actually going to be living in their RV full time. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to finish cleaning up and I think we're gonna be done before seven. The transport guy is just waiting. So I think we're gonna call him and tell him that we're finished early so we can just have to like sit around and wait and then we'll be good to go. Those are the last two boxes. <sighs> That's so sad. Yeah. That one's for the Airbnb. That's for that storage. one's for storage. So. I, think, I think it's right if we carry them out at the same time. We have completely emptied out this entire camper and we're going to show you what it looks like. Totally empty. We only have a couple minutes because the transport people are going to be here in about 20 minutes to come pick her up. So everything is completely emptied out. Literally all the cabinets which held all of our food that we made, all of our meals all over the country. Our refrigerator is... That's our to-go food, we just need to get out of there. I mean, this is where we kept some of our homeschool supplies, where we taught our kids on the road. And 
where we, oh my gosh, I don't know why it's going to cry like this. Um, the saddest part is the kids' room. I mean, I'm so excited for our new adventure, but also we've had so many memories in here and I just feel like a whole chapter of our life is closing and I'm so excited for the new chapter. I can be excited and happy and sad and like upset at the same time. You can have two different emotions at the same time and I want you to know that that is perfectly okay and totally acceptable and completely normal. But it's really sad for me to see the kids' room all emptied out and... Like, we're gonna continue to travel. We have another RV, but we're gonna um, just travel part-time. It's just, you know, a whole chapter of our lives have, has come to an end. So um, the new family is gonna actually live in this RV full-time and we left the dehumidifiers for them and um, they live in Texas and they're really excited to have this RV and it was a really big blessing for their family. And, oh, it's just, this has been such an incredible camper and just such a joy to our life. This was the perfect camper for living in an RV and traveling full time. The other camper is smaller, which is why we're keeping the other one um, instead of this one, even though we definitely like this one a lot more. Um, it just made more sense to have a smaller camper for only going to travel part time. So the bathroom is completely clean now where we took showers and in all the all the many states all across the country and everything's everything's gone everything's moved out we're just staying in the airbnb until we close on our house um and we'll be there for um almost a month and a lot of people think it's crazy to live in an rv and travel the country and they think of you know it's always such a small space and all of that which you know that is true but you get to take your house with you all over the country like you have your same bed every night you don't have to worry about packing and unpacking you have all of your food with you you don't have to worry about going to the grocery store you know and bringing all that stuff in every time it's just a completely different experience traveling in an rv being in a small space is just hard um everyone's asking us like why did we decide to stop traveling there wasn't anything like dramatic it just was like time you know it's so fun being in an rv and traveling in an rv and we loved every single second of it for our family personally we just hit a like a, a wall where we felt like it was just becoming more work than it was fun and so we just felt like when it got to that point was when it was time for us to stop and all of us sadly were were sad but we were also all in agreement that we needed to stop traveling so um you know we sat down and had the discussion as a family and we're all of us are sad about leaving the rv life and sad about leaving our friends but we're also really excited about our future so again it's totally fine to feel the same way like two different two different ways at the exact same time um transport's gonna be here in just a few minutes we'll be here at five o'clock so i guess about 20 minutes right now and we're not gonna see her again and it just really feels like a brand new chapter of our life is is just opening and one is closing and it's I think that why I'm so emotional is because it just shaped us so much as people. And I'm so grateful for every second and all the memories that we were able to have with our, our kids. And together as a family, and it was such a beautiful experience and I wouldn't have traded it for anything. It needed to end. It's time was done. But it was just such a beautiful experience. And I feel like I'm not, I'm going to miss it, but not really. And I'm so excited for being in the house, but man, this is just, this really like changed all of us so much for the better. So that's the final tour of, of Caroline. And if you want to come along on our adventure and see what it looks like to move from an RV into a house, then make sure to subscribe to our channel because we would love to have you along for the journey and following everything that's going along with our family. We're going to continue to homeschool. I'm going to start a garden. I have been like looking up like woodworking so I can start build furniture. Um, and I actually like used to can whenever we lived in a house before. And so I'm excited to share some of that. So we're going to share a variety of different things. And I'm so excited for this new direction of like videos that we get to make and I'm so excited about the creativity aspect of it so make sure you're following along